let's move on to the next section that is material receipt in the transaction part here you can see the material receipt that you can give the receipt number that it will be white by default or you can manually fill it and next uh, the date you can see that the current date and cash or party you can select if it's cash yeah, if you want to give any uh, party details you can just press plus icon and give that and voucher type can be true that is not applicable case and one you can do against purchase order also and here i just selected not applicable case in the voucher type and you can set, set the rupee settings also and just give the details accordingly and just save it and next i'm giving the purchase order section in that section you are doing against the purchase right so uh, you can give the order number and give the details accordingly and you can see and down you can see the total amount after that you can save it and after all those you can just close it and just go to the register that i'm just taking material receipt register and register you just can view all the details that you have just given in the material receipt and you can see the date whether it's party or cash everything and if you want to do any addition just double click it and you can see the details and what mainly used in the material receipt is can we can see the all the orders that the materials or no materials it is we having if you want to do any updation just double click and update it and if you want to clear it just select the row and just clear it and just if you want to delete it just select it and delete it and you can down you can see the details and if you want to see the cash or party detail just select it and just search it you can see the details.